everybody we're here with some more new interesting things now as you grow up the steps become a little trickier and a little longer but then that should not stop you from trying out new things because once you have made them you can prove yourself to be very smart and clever we're now going to make a mushroom I'm sure you spotted them somewhere after the rains now, a mushroom is a fungus some of them can be eaten but some are very poisonous so always have an adult to assist you when you want to pluck one but then it's totally harmless to watch them so take a square sheet of paper and now you have to fold it from three sides and for that we need some folding to be done so keep the white side up and fold it from left to right side once again from left to the right side and then the last fold again from the left to the right side unfold it completely and you will find a lot of lines on your paper now we are going to use just these first lines next to your sides so start folding and fold it along the first line that you see next to the left side similarly the line next to the right side is going to guide us for the next fold so fold the right side along this line now the top side has to be folded in the same way so just fold it from top after this fold the top side to the bottom now we need a center line so fold it from top to bottom press it unfold and you have a center line now fold the top side just a little beyond the center line that we have made now you have to flip over this paper and you have all colored side on the top now fold the top left corner now begin folding from the second line that you see and it is next to the center line so make a slanting fold like this and the corner ends up a little beyond the center line and towards the end it gets folded just on the corner or the edge of the side flap now the right side has to be folded in the same way the top point of the second line gets used make a slanting fold like this the same way as the left one and your paper looks somewhat like this the next thing to be done is unfold the left and the right flap so let's do for the right one first because it overlaps the left one unfold it insert your finger and unfold it like this now do the same to the other one insert a finger and open the flap now after this you have to fold the left and the right side inwards again in a slanting way start folding from the bottom side of the triangle on the left side like this and the right side also gets folded inwards begin folding from the bottom edge of the top triangle like this just fold in the tips that you see at the bottom to make it look neater 
Now when you flip it over, you will find that a beautiful looking mushroom is ready. So let's start by making a purse. And for that, you need to take a square sheet of paper, keep the white side up, fold from top to bottom. And then we need a center line on this piece of rectangle. So fold it from left to right. Unfold it to get a center line. Now fold the left side to the center line. And the right side also to the center line. Now you have to fold this inner corner of the left flap downwards to the left side like this and then the inner corner on the right also gets folded downwards to the right side. It will now look like this. Unfold this top flap and press from the sides and it looks somewhat like this. The same thing has to be done to the other flap. Open it and press the top side and the sides. What you now have are two triangles on the top and the bottom part is white one. You have to flip it over and bring the left side to the center and the right side also get folded to the center. Flip it over again and turn it upside down. You have the colored side on the bottom and the top side is the white one. Now begin folding the top left side of the upper flap to the center point. Now this is the center point where all the corners seem to meet. In the same way, fold the top right corner of the upper flap also to the center point. Now flip it over and do the same on this side as well. Fold both the corners on the left and the right side to the center point. Now you have two flaps, the upper one and the bottom one. Now fold the top tip downwards, leaving a small portion just above the base of the white triangles. I'll do it again for you like this. You have to make one more fold, this time to the center line and it goes beyond the center line on the bottom colored part. The same thing has to be done on the other side. So fold the tip downwards leaving a small portion and then fold again the top part downwards. Fold is made at the center line and it ends up beyond the center line on the bottom colored part. Now your purse is ready. You can decorate it by sticking some stickers, maybe something like this and you can make it look even more beautiful. We will now make an acorn. Now what is an acorn? Acorn is a seed or a fruit of an oak tree. Children love to collect them and then play with them. So let's try and make one. So let's try one with a brown sheet of paper. Turn the paper so that you have a corner at the top. Fold the bottom corner to the top. Press it. Unfold to get a center line. Now fold the bottom corner to the center line. Once again fold the bottom side just a little 
once again fold the bottom side this time to the center line and one last fold from the bottom side to the upwards this time beyond the center line and the white part comes on the top of the brown part. Now having done that flip it over and fold it from bottom left to the right corner you need a center line so just fold it unfold now we need a few more lines here which will guide us for the next fold so fold it from left to right and then one more from left to the center line and press the fold. When you unfold, you have a few lines here. We are going to use this line which is next to the center line. Make a fold at this line and fold the left corner to the right like this. Now the same thing has to be done to the right side. So fold the right corner to the center line and then again the right to the center line. Press the folds and this line next to the center line will be the guiding line. So fold the right corner to the left. Press the folds. Now you have this tip sticking out of the side. Fold this inwards to the center line and bring it down. This comes outside the base. Your icon is almost ready. Just shape it a little by turning or folding this left corner on the bottom inwards. You're basically making the sides a little blunt and the right one also gets folded in like this and now when you flip it over you have your acorn perfect playing with. Let's have some more fun by paper folding by making a puppet fox. Yes, we're going to make a puppet fox, which is not just fun making it, but then to play with it. Or maybe you can have a puppet show. So let's try one. Take this square sheet of paper. You can take a brown if you want and keep the white side up. You have to fold the top side to the bottom. And then the left gets turned to the right. Unfold this and you have a center line. Now fold the left side to the center line and the right side also gets folded to the center line like this. Now you have two corners on the inner side. You have to fold the top right corner of the left flap downwards to the left side and this inner corner of the right flap also gets folded to the right side. You have to open the left flap and press it from the sides so that you have a triangle on the top. In the same way open this right side flap and pressing it from the sides you have another triangle on the top. This leaves us with the top colored part and the bottom white part. Fold this on the back side. The left side gets folded to the back side and the right side also gets folded to the back side. To make it easier you can also flip it over and then fold the left and the right side whichever way you find it easier. Now this corner on the left 
on the bottom side of the upper flap has to be folded and brought to the center point. Now once again fold this bottom corner to the center line and one last fold from the bottom side to the top side which brings the bottom right part to the top part. Flip it over and you have to do the same thing on this side. Now fold this right corner at the bottom to the center point like this and then this corner has to be again folded and brought to the center point like this and one last fold is to fold this bottom part again to the top part bringing this left side on the bottom to the top left side. Now hold the paper vertically so that you have the broader sides on the top and the pointed side comes on the bottom. Now this will form the ears of your fox. Let's see how. You have to insert your finger and your thumb between the two flaps here like this. So just put your finger and thumb in and while you do that you have to push it from this side here and bring the top part on the bottom and there's a surprise for you. Wow! That almost looks like a fox. You just need to draw eyes to make it look complete. Let's do it. Make a pair of eyes, one on each side. Now, when you move your fingers from inside, doesn't it look as if the fox is ready to speak? So what does it say? Hello, I'm ready for a puppet show. Now how about making a rocket? A rocket which not just looks like a real one, but is able to stand all by itself. So take a square sheet of paper, keep the white side up and fold from top to bottom. Press the fold. Now fold the left side to the right side, making it turn into a square again. Now what you need to do is lift this top right corner of the upper leaf and fold it to the bottom left corner. When you unfold you get a center line. And let's make use of the center line for our next fold which takes the shape of a triangle. Now flip it over and do the same on the other side by folding this top left corner to the bottom of the center line. Press the fold. Now to make the next fold easier what you can also do is make a mountain fold on the same line. You get this crease here which makes it easier for you to fold it outwards like this. Easy peasy, isn't it? Now you have to fold this corner to the center line. Start folding from the top tip. Again the right one also comes to the center line. Both the corners end up pointing downwards below the base of the triangle. Now do the same on the other side by first flipping it over, turn the left side to the center line starting to fold from the top tip. The right side also comes to the center line. Now you have all the four corners pointing 
downwards beyond the base of the triangle. Once again fold all the four corners to the center line. Let's begin with the first one like this then the right one like this flip it over let's do it to the other two the left one first then the right one now you have folded all the four corners to the center line just one last step and your rocket would be ready to stand on its own lift this top flap from the bottom and fold it sideways and upwards then the bottom tip on the right flap also gets folded like this flip it over and do the same to the bottom tip on the left and the right in the same way so you have all the four corners folded up just open them a little and your rocket is ready to take off so how about a countdown so are you ready for the next surprise it's something very interesting it's a candy box to make one you need a square sheet of paper and keep the white side up. Now you need a center point and for that you need to fold it top to bottom and then left to right side. And when you unfold you have a center point. You have to fold all the four corners to the center point. So let's do it one by one. The first one, then the second one, the third one, and the fourth one gets folded to the center line flip it over and once again fold all the four corners to the center line one two three and the four what you need to do next is Fold the top side to the bottom and the left side to the right like that. Just press hard the sides. Now to open up all the four flaps you need to put in your fingers inside each one of these flaps. This you have to bring all the four corners together at the bottom and bring your fingers out. What is left for you is a pretty looking candy box to put candy in. Now what you have made not just looks beautiful but is very useful too. We are now going to make a rabbit and for that you need two square sheets of paper preferably in pink. Now from one sheet we are going to make a head and the other we are going to use for the body. So let's keep one sheet aside for a while and make use of the other sheet. Place it in such a way that you have a corner pointing upwards. We keep the colored side on the top. Now fold this bottom corner to the top corner and press the fold. Now fold down the top tip of the triangle to the base of the triangle 
in the center and press your folds. Now lift this left corner on the bottom and bring it to the center. The corner now points upwards. In the same way, lift the right corner on the bottom and fold it upwards like this. Now both the corners of the bottom now point upwards. You need to fold the left and the right corner inwards starting to fold from the top tip. So let's do it. Now these are going to be the ears of the rabbit. So this little pink is going to make it look all the more natural. Now fold the right corner in the same way starting to fold from the top tip. Now that you have folded both the left and the right corners inwards towards the center, just two more folds, lift this left side from the top and fold it towards the left. Now this fold has to be made from the corners on the inside like this to the outside so that the top corner now points towards the outside. You have to do the same thing on the right side flap. Lift this top flap from the top tip and fold it to the right side. Start folding from this inner corner like this. Now both the ears have taken the shape. It looks beautiful when you flip it over. If you want, you can just plant this corner a little by folding it on the inside. You just need to draw eyes, a nose, and maybe some whiskers. And just a small mouth here. And that looks pretty. Keep this aside for a while. Let's start with this. Here you again need to keep the colored side on the top. Fold the top to the bottom. And fold it to make a center line. Now fold this top corner to the center line and begin folding from the right corner. Just press your folds. Now the bottom corner also gets folded to the center line starting to fold from the right corner. Like this. Now just lift this right corner, this tip, make a valley fold, fold it inside, leave it just a little before the edges here of the white side, press it, fold back this tip to the outside, leaving a small portion on the white part here. Do not unfold it completely. After this fold, you need to round up the tail a little. So just fold this tip inwards just a little. That's it. And now you have to fold the bottom side to the top side. You have a tail ready for you. Now that you have made the body, and your head is ready for you, just turn it upside down, take the head, we can stick this on the top of our body. Now after you have pasted them together, you will find you have made it in such a fantastic way. 
you have proved yourself to be very smart. All your efforts have really paid off very well. We're now going to make this penguin which has flippers. So take a sheet of paper, keep the white side up and turn it sideways. Fold the top side or the top corner to the bottom and then the left corner gets folded to the right. Now lift this top flap and the right corner gets folded to the bottom left corner. Unfold this to find the line here and open this outwards. Let's do it on the other side now. So flip it over and fold this bottom left corner to the bottom of the center line. To make the next fold easier, you can also make a mountain fold like this to get a nice crease. Now when you unfold this, To open it outwards, you now have one square on the other. Now place it in such a way you have the closed ends on the top and the open ends on the bottom side. Now lift the top flap and fold this corner to the center line. Start folding from the bottom tip. Now fold the right side also to the center line starting to fold from the bottom tip and fold this top tip backwards. Flip it over and fold the left corner to the center line starting to fold from the bottom tip. In the same way fold the right corner to the center line starting to fold from the bottom tip. Now unfold and lift this bottom tip, bring it upwards, start folding from the lines that you have made in the previous step. Start folding like this and go on to the top side. Do it very slowly and gently so that you don't end up tearing your paper. Now do this very slowly and gently so that you have nice neat folds here from tip to tip. So it will look like this now. You've done this on one side, you need to do this on the other side as well. So flip it over. Open the flaps, lift this from the bottom and bring it to the top side. Start folding at the bottom and then go on till you reach the top end. Slowly and gently, you're all doing a great job. What is important is you keep trying. And when you keep practicing, you will be able to make a perfect looking thing by the end of it. Now, after doing that, bring this to the bottom side. Now having done that, fold the left side to the right, making it look like this. You now have three folds on the top. There are three tips, one, two and three. You have to fold the top flap downwards from the center point like this. Flip it over and do the same to the top flap on this side. Make a slanting fold starting to fold from the center point and place one flipper on the other. 
those are the flippers of the penguin. Now you made the flippers, let's make the beak by folding the top side on the back side like this. Open the flaps and make an inward fold like this. Having done the beak and the flippers, let's move on to the feet. You need to make a small cut down here. Now very carefully make a tiny cut on the bottom tip like this. You can see you have split the two sides into two ends. Now lift this top flap and bring it to the front side. And the other one also comes on the front side in the direction of your bee. Now you have your penguin ready with a bee its flippers and the feet. You have done such a fantastic job by making it look so perfect. We are now going to make a very attractive looking fish. It's called a goldfish. I am sure you have seen it somewhere in the aquarium. To make one, you need a square sheet of paper and preferably an orange color paper will make it look very natural. So keep it in a way so that the corner point upwards and downwards. You have to fold the bottom corner to the top corner. Press the fold. Now lift the left one, place it on the right one. And when you unfold, you have a center line. Now lift this left corner on the bottom and fold it upwards to the top tip. And fold the bottom right corner also to the top tip. Next, the top tip of the upper flap gets folded to the bottom tip like this. In the same way. The right one also gets folded to the bottom tip. Now you have folded it from the top tip to the bottom tip. Now once again you need to fold this from the bottom tip sideways starting from the center point here. Fold it in a way so that the tip now points towards the outside. In the same way, this bottom tip will get folded to the outside. Begin folding from the center point. Just fold it a little like this. After that, turn your paper upside down and lift this top sheet from the bottom and fold it to the center point. You have to make one more fold from the bottom upwards just a little not to the center line but this time to the center line start folding from the bottom to the center line and once again this goes beyond the center line on the colored part like this. It covers a little of the fins that you have made here. The next thing you need to do is fold the left side to the right and press the fold here and fold it. You have to insert your finger here and open this flap like this and fold from left to right bringing this tip towards the side. What you have done is insert your finger and open the two flaps, the corners come towards each other and the fish gets folded 
looks like this. Now just turn it a little. This is going to be the mouth of your fish. What you need to do is fold this right side tip at the bottom to the top corner and press it and fold it and you will find a line here. Now this line is going to help us make the next cut. You have to cut along this line not till the end but leave it just before you reach the end of this line. So let's start cutting. Very carefully and very slowly so that you stop before you reach the end of this line. And that's it. You have cut along this line and you have left a small place here for the next fold. Now lift this and fold it to the left side. When you unfold you have a line which is parallel to the center line here. Now this little bit can be a little tricky. So just follow me. This tail has to be pushed inside making use of this line which you have just made. This part goes inside like this and the left part comes over the tail like this. To make it complete you have to fold the tips or the corners on the bottom a little inwards like this. Now you've done for the top one. Let's do it to the bottom one. Just fold it towards inside so that it gives a little rounded shape to the mouth of our fish. All you need to do is paste the sides together. Let's glue them up. Stick them. And your fish is ready. We we'll now make a seal. A seal lives both on land and water. So it lives mostly in the areas where you have land near the sea. So to make one, Take a square sheet of paper, keep the white side up and fold it from top to bottom. Open it to find a center line. Turn it sideways and fold the left corner to the center line starting to fold from the bottom tip. Fold the right corner starting to fold from the bottom tip and bring it to the center line. You have now brought both the corners to the center line. Flip it over and fold this bottom tip to the top tip after you have flipped it over and bring the left corner to the center line and the right corner also to the center line folding it from the top tip. Now you have to press these really hard because it becomes easier in the next fold. Open this and you come to the other side. You have to make a mountain fold from this bottom left corner to the corner on the center line. So make a mountain fold like this and other one here from the bottom right corner to the corner on the center line. Like this. Two mountain folds have been made. Unfold this and get ready for the next fold. Lift this right flap 
and bring the side to the center line and the corner as you can see goes on the downward side. You have to do the same thing to the other side. Lift the flap on the left side, bring the side to the center line and the corner on the center line comes to the bottom side like this. This top flap goes down like this and the right side gets folded to the left side like this. You now have a top tip, a bottom tip and a corner here. What you need to do is make the head of the seal here. So for that just turn it sideways like that so that this part forms the head. So you have to make a mountain fold like this where the corner ends up pointing upwards. Unfold this. Open the flaps and you have to make an inward fold like this. Push it a little. Make use of the lines that you have made. You have your head on this side. Now this is going to be the tail on the left side. So lift this and make a valley fold by placing this tip a little further away than the center line like this and then it gets folded back to the left side leaving a small portion on the black side here and this tip comes on the outside. After that let's go back to the head that you've made earlier. Open the flaps like this and bring them to the front side. Now this has to be folded. The top tip has to be folded downwards just a little like this and then fold it back. I'll tell you why this has been done. You have to make one more fold here on the back side like this. Make an inward fold by pushing it in All the folding has been done. All you need to do is just lift this flap from the left side and bring it to the right side and do the same on the flap on the other side. Bring it to the side where you have the head. After that you can see you have done a marvelous job. Now making a seal that looks so good you have proved yourself to be very smart and clever. Hi everybody. Have you seen a twister at home which is used to take out cream from butter? To make one, you need a square sheet of paper and fold it from top to bottom. And then from left to right. And when you unfold, you have a center point. Now fold all the four corners one by one to the center point. After you have folded all the four corners, flip it over. And once again, fold all the four corners to the center point. Now 
Now you have folded all the four corners once again to the center point. What you need to do is flip it over and looks like this now. Fold from top side to bottom like this. Press the fold and then from left to right. Having done that, make a mountain fold from the bottom left corner to the bottom top corner. Press it, unfold and make a mountain fold from top left corner to bottom right corner. Open it and now what you have to do is just fold it from one corner to the other and bring the corners together. Do it on the other side as well. Bring the two corners together by pushing it in from here. Now the top part of the twister is ready. You need to make a rod which we will stick from beneath this. Keep this aside for a while. And making a rod is very easy. All you need to do is keep this white side up, take a pencil and start rolling from the bottom part like this. Now this can be fun. Just go on rolling till you reach the top part like this. Now you have to stick this end to this part so that when you take this pencil away it doesn't fall apart again. So take this out and stick this side now your rod is somewhat ready you have to make four cuts on the top I will tell you in a while why so very small cuts one two three and a fourth one. Now fold down all these four cuts like this. One, two, three and four. And when you open them a little it looks like this. Now these four sides will be attached here to the four corners here. So you need to face them first so that it goes beneath the twister. And you have to paste it on the twister. Now after you have pasted them together, just give it a little shape. Once you have pasted them together, your twister is ready to twist and turn. We are now going to make frogs. We have all seen frogs hopping around, especially after the rains. It's fun to watch them. Take a sheet of paper and to make a frog we need only half of it. So fold it from top to bottom and fold it. You have a center line. You need to cut it along this line. We are going to use just one half of the sheet. So let's keep the other one aside and start folding. Fold the top right corner to the left like this. And then fold the top left corner to the right side like this. You have to really press hard. Why? Because the next fold will need some good creases. 
fold this top side to the bottom make a fold where this center point lies now fold this top side downwards from this point where the two lines seem to meet now this is a center point so fold from this center point unfold this and what you have to do is bring both these sides from the left and the right of the center point downwards now you can do it either together or one by one whichever way you find it simpler so either hold them together like this or bring them downwards or do it one by one making use of these lines that we have made in the beginning what you have in front of you is a triangle on the top side of your paper now fold this bottom left corner of this green color triangle and fold it upwards so that the corner ends up pointing outwards similarly the bottom right corner of the upper flap gets folded to the outside now these are going to be the front legs of your frog now fold the left side to the right side we because need a center line so unfold and you have a center line so fold the left side to the center line leaving these two flaps on the top this right side also gets folded to the center line and you have your legs ready for you now to make the hind legs you have to fold the bottom part to the bottom corners of your front legs now this again gets folded back to the bottom and press it you have to flip it over your frog is almost ready how about sticking some googly eyes either you can draw some eyes or maybe stick a pair of eyes like this and the second one you can also choose to draw a pair of eyes if you want now to make your frog jump a little what you need to do is press it from the back side and just release your finger slipping it like that doesn't that look lovely so that's all for now you have learned to make a lot of interesting things and some of them were real fun time activities so all you need to do is keep practicing and keep having fun and you will love the art of origami bye bye